Hey, what's going on guys? Mario Man 252 here and welcome back to Paper Mario Sticker Star. It's been about six and a half years since I've played this game. And um or at least on the channel. I actually played it not too long ago in real life. But I really have wanted to bring you guys this game, and unfortunately the quality um of that let's play I did all that time ago was not good. So I figured I've got some more advanced recording equipment now, and um I'm gonna try and bring you guys a better quality let's play um i hope um if it does end up being kind of bad i'll see what i can do but um hopefully it's a bit better so um i guess we'll just get started then because uh, that's about all i have to say to start off so i may just skip this opening credit sequence for you guys because um it's 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 very long and all it does is like introduce the story which I could just tell you guys afterwards so I think that's what I'm gonna do um, so I will see you guys after this has played out and we actually start getting into the game okay everybody I'm back um, we're done with the opening cutscene um, for those of you that don't know the main storyline of this game basically there's a special comet called the sticker comet that comes down I think it's like every is it every hundred years or is that Mario Galaxy I, I don't know but it comes down every so many years and everyone in uh, the Mushroom Kingdom gets super excited and they host a festival to commemorate it and everything. And uh, this particular year, uh, Bowser touches the comet and it explodes into six royal stickers, which we are tasked with collecting, as well as um, various comet pieces, which are the end goal of each level in this game. So we are uh, tasked to go around, collect all that stuff, and here we meet Kirsty, our kind of, um, those of you that have played The Legend of Zelda, um, if you think of Navi, uh, the fairy, this is essentially the Navi of this game. Basically your little kind of guide, um, who, you know, <laughs> serves story purposes and kind of just is there. So that, that's basically her role here. Um, she's going to interrogate Mario about uh, the sticker comet because she thinks he had touched the sticker comet when it was actually Bowser. So now she's going to get like, oh, you're trying to pin the blame on somebody else and that's not cool, bro. So anyway, after Mario talks some sense into her, um, we get this little introductory uh, peeling out of the background here. And uh, then we can get started. So the first thing that we're tasked with doing, um, just a little, it's not really a spoiler. You'll probably see it later in this episode. Um, Bowser rolled up the main town into basically a burrito, like a big old paper burrito. So basically what we're tasked with is saving, I think, I don't remember the exact number, but there's 20 something toads in um, the entire town area. There's six here on the the sticker fest ground this guy's gonna give me the hammer which is super super useful um because you can um knock stuff over with it you can um put up um knocked over you know like this lamppost here right next to me i can put that back up with my hammer like that so anyway um we're gonna go around and save these dudes there's six toads in this area and there's like 20 21 something something like that in the next area so we are going to go around um, if there's anything important I'll mention it but uh, right now there hasn't really been anything important so we just peeled that boot off of this toad's head and we collect it as a jump sticker and this is where Kirsty gives us a sticker album because stickers are basically that's how you attack in this game and of course it's not necessarily an attack you can heal you can there's mushroom stickers for you to heal with and all that kind of stuff. But basically, um, stickers are your battle gear in this game. Stickers are how you fight. If you ever run into any enemies, to defeat them, you use stickers. You don't like... And you can, of course, you can stomp on them and hammer them outside of battle. But once you run into them or, you know, damage them, um, you'll be sucked into a little battle scene, and that's where you use your stickers to actually defeat the enemies. And, um, we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit, because they have you do, like, an introductory kind of mini-boss fight at the end of, uh, of this place. So, 
we'll just gather a few stickers here. I'll probably end up selling a couple of these just to get some basic, uh, a few coins to start off. And from there, uh, we can head out into the world and get started. So I must say, um, a lot of people don't like this game. And I can see those, the, the people that like really love the old Paper Mario games like Thousand Year Door and Paper Mario 64 and all those, I can see why they're not really thrilled with this game. It, it's, uh, it's very different. It's very different from the old games. And, um, it, it, like, the battle is, the battling is different and the story is different and everything. I love this game, and I, I, I always have, which I know is kind of like an unpopular opinion, but I've always really, really liked this game. So, I'm, I'm gonna play for you guys because that was my, that was my original intention at the beginning of my channel, was to uh, play this game for you guys and uh, commentate over it and just, you know, have a good time. But unfortunately, we didn't get very far because of the recording quality, and I kind of just forgot about it, to be honest. That save file no longer exists, by the way, in case you guys were wondering. That old save file, that's that's been gone for quite a long time at this point. So yeah, anyway, there's a, there's a couple collectibles. There's some stickers and stuff hanging around. But basically, you're tasked with going around, saving all these toads, and... Um, now Kirsty's gonna say, listen, you gotta get us out of town, but I know that the only way to actually get out of town is to save all the toads. So, um, that's what we're gonna do. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a 100% playthrough or if I'm just going to try and, you know, beat the final boss and that's gonna be my end goal. I'll probably try and 100% it, just because I love tasking myself, like, something big like that. Like, 100%ing the game, getting all the secrets, whatever it happens to be. So we saved, I think there were, yeah, 10 toads in there. I'm just gonna pop up these flowers because OCB. And uh, we're gonna go into this house. And um, at first, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot in here except this sticker back here. But if we knock over this trash can, you can see right there, that, that one looks a little suspicious. And it's, it's a toad, wow! How <laughs> surprising. All right, anyway, moving on. I may have to record the future episodes a little bit differently because my arms are extremely tired and um, uncomfortable. I'll see how the quality is. If not, I'll just restart the, oh, whoops, shouldn't have done that. Holy moly. That could have been very, very bad. I'm glad I stopped myself. Okay, anyway, the reason that was bad is because there's a, a shiny jump up here in this block. And uh, if you break that, you can't get up there. I mean, there's, there's a bot hammer in here, which sells for a little bit, but, uh, yeah. You, you make sure you go up there. If, if you play this game yourself, make sure you go up there before you break any of that stuff. Because Shiny Jump, it, it's, it's, it's good, especially at the beginning of the game as a battle sticker, and it also sells for quite a bit. So, you're definitely going to want to get that, even if you don't plan on using it. Like, I'm probably just going to sell it. So, let's save this dude. Um, he got, uh, crumbled up pretty good. <laughs> so, um, alright, we're actually almost done. There's only a few toads left. There's one back here, behind these houses here. There's also a couple of stickers. So, let's save this dude. And then, after that, there's five more in the red house that we're behind right now. And, um, after that, unless I'm forgetting any, I'm pretty sure we got them all. And then we can uh, unburrito the town and uh, actually get started on our adventure here. So, let's head on in. Oh, oh yeah, this dude. I forgot. I can't believe I forgot about this dude. This dude got taped underneath um, a doormat. Um, poor guy. Feel bad. But, uh, yeah. He got, uh, he got put under there, unfortunately. So, anyway. These dudes are hiding in a portrait because they're, they're trying to blend in with the mushrooms to hide from Bowser. And um, now they're all going to hop out and be like, yay, he's gone. So that should be the last of them. And with that, we can head on over to the main area of the, uh, of the town. 
and uh, we can get going on uh, the main story quest here. So basically, in this segment, if you see the toads pushing, trying to unburrito the town, you haven't gotten them all yet. If you see them standing still like that, it means you have gotten them all. So that means we have gotten all the toads. And anyway, Mr. Green Toad here is uh, kind of like the leader. He's um, leading the charge with the unburritoing process, but unfortunately for him, it, it doesn't go so good. And he gets uh, trapped underneath the, um, the town, underneath the fountain there. We are able to save him later, but we're not quite able to do it yet. So I'm probably going to return here after we beat the first level and we get the paperization ability which allows me to pick up stuff that looks out of place or... Uh, it, 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 there's a lot of different uses for it honestly. <laughs> um, but one of them is to pick up this fountain, uh, save the toad, he ends up... Um, well I'm not going to spoil it for those of you that haven't um, haven't seen it. But that, that uh, toad does have a special purpose. So we're going to hop in here, grab this jump sticker. And, um, do I want to sell anything yet? I will sell, I will sell some stuff. Like the bah hammer not going to be useful to me. The eek hammer is not going to be, oh, I didn't want to buy. Whoops. Oh, okay. Now Kirstie's going to talk about the stickers and stuff. Anyway. Um, so I'm just going to sell this because it sells for five coins, which really isn't bad. I'm going to do the same with, I'm going to keep the worn out stuff, although it's not good. Um, it can help with some quick enemy encounters um, later on. Actually, you know, I'm going to sell the shiny jump too. No, I don't want to buy. Dang it. Sorry. Everything's a little bit delayed because I'm kind of playing through what I see on my phone camera. But uh, here we go. Sell. All right, we got 19. And Kirsty is going to give us some stickers in just a minute. when we tr If we try to leave town... We are stopped by these three Goombas here, who uh, want to play with us. So you know we're gonna we're gonna stop them. So Kirsty starts talking a whole bunch of trash and then goes away. And um, then these Goombas, uh, these Goombas want to square up. So uh, this is where we find out they're all backed by Bowser and they have this like dark sticker power behind them. So. Um, Kirsty takes a look at the album and says we might not have enough stickers, which is actually not true. We have plenty. But, uh, now we get our tutorial on, you know, how we, um, how we select stickers and whatnot. Anyway, um, the quickest way to do this is with a hammer on the first one, but frankly, I'm going to use a jump. Oh, whoops. That timing was awful. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, yeah, everything's a little bit delayed, I think, so let me try, let me try this instead. Oh, this is much better, okay, yeah. Got it, alright. Well, I will know for the future to do it this way. Anyway, there we go. We took out those Goombas, we didn't get as many coins as we could have because I messed up that first jump. But, uh, yeah, the, they scatter. Um, and, um, before we head out, I'm going to heal, I'm going to save, and then that will probably be the end of the episode. I don't want to cram too much in here. Um, I don't want to, I want to make this a fairly long series because this is a fairly long game. So uh, yeah, we'll just save our progress. And uh, with that, I think that will be the end of the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and comment down below if you want to see more because um, I know I'm probably going to end up playing more of this anyway. But if you guys like it, make sure to let me know. Uh, make sure to share this video with your friends and uh, I will see you guys next time.